Hey, Cecil Robles here, and this is video number two in the seven video Forex University video series. Now, I want you to definitely stick around until video number seven, because not only I'm gonna be sharing some powerful strategies and some powerful things to get you up and running quickly as a Forex trader in this seven video series, but I'm also gonna be sharing something in video number seven that I've never shared before, and it's gonna be awesome, all right? So stick around. Make sure and tune into all of these videos on a daily basis. So let's go ahead and dive right into this particular video, this particular lesson. We're going to be talking about the ideal account size for trading Forex. And I'm also going to give you five important and free, that's a, that's a key word there, free tools that I use every day to help me make profitable Forex trades. Now, once again, don't worry. All of these tools are 100% free to use. There's a lot of fluff and a lot of expensive stuff out there that you can subscribe to, but I'm gonna cut right to the chase and I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't need 99.9% .9 of that stuff because I'm gonna show, show you five tools that are absolutely essential to your Forex success that are 100% free to use. Now, here's the number one question I always get from new students and that is, how much money do I need to start with to make this worthwhile, to make trading the Forex worthwhile? Can I start with a small amount? Do I need 10,000, 5,000, 100,000, you know, 500? What is the ideal account size? Well, let me start out by saying that the strategies that I'm going to be teaching you are ideal for small accounts. So first off, the Forex market is ideal for small accounts because of the fact that there is no fixed lot size. I talked about that a little bit in the last video. But let me break this down for you. And what that means is that you can trade $500 and risk the same percentage as you would with $50,000 on the same exact trade. Now, I'm gonna get into this money management and position sizing a little more in a subsequent lesson. But let me tell you, that is huge to be able to trade $500 or $50,000 on the same exact trade and risk the same exact percentage. So for instance, if I had a $500 account and I wanted to risk 5%, that's a $25 risk. In other words, if I lose in that trade, I'm risking $25. I know what my limit is. I know where my risk setting is. But I can do the same thing on a $50,000 trade in the same exact trade and risk 5%, which would now be $2,500. But the beauty is, is I can do it on the same exact trade that I would on the $500 account. So I don't need a huge account size because of the fact that there's no fixed lot size in Forex. Now, second, it's ideal for small accounts because any good broker out there doesn't penalize you for trading with smaller accounts. In other words, some brokers in the stock market and other, and other markets you get penalized for trading with a smaller account, number one. Number two, you get penalized because they don't give you the same fills and so on and so forth. You don't get the same support. Now, in Forex, you're not penalized by higher commissions just because you're starting with a smaller account. Uh, in fact, by opening what is called a micro lot account, uh, which I recommend you do if you're trading under $10,000, you can actually start out with a few hundred bucks to a few thousand bucks with almost any broker around the world. So I highly recommend that if you're opening up an account or you're looking to open up an account, that you open up what is called a micro lot account. And that's gonna allow you to trade with the smallest fraction of lot size that you can so that you can keep within proper risk parameters as I'm teaching you these strategies. Now, third, it's ideal for small accounts because when you use the right strategies, you're able to build those accounts up a lot quicker than you can in other markets. And it's and that right there is huge. You know, I started with $2,000 for my first account and I've traded single accounts as high as one and a half million dollars and I've traded managed accounts as high as $10 million. Now, I have some students who come to me and learn and they only have a $500 account to start with and I have other uh, others who have come to me and they have 500,000 to start with as you're about to see from one of my students, Stuart K in just a minute. Now the beauty of this video series and what I'm teaching you here is that it puts everyone at a level playing field, right? You can start with 500 or 500,000 and you're at a level playing field other than of course, one has a lot more money, the other doesn't, right? But as far as the strategies, as far as the techniques, as far as the market, you're at a level playing field. Now, listen, I can't force you to learn from my decades, you know, long 
uh, in the trenches trading experience here. But what I can tell you is the ones that have learned have gone on to do tremendous things. And I'm going to share a few of those stories with you here just so that you can see that you can start with small account size and still do well. You can start with a larger account size and of course you can do well as well. Now this is Maurizio. He wrote in, he's one of our club members and uh, he generated 11.2% in his first week of trading. Now if I'm not mistaken, Maurizio was trading on a $5,000 account. So that's around a $550 profit in just a couple of weeks. That's uh, that's really huge. As a matter of fact, I think it was less than two weeks. It was uh, just a little over a week. So that is huge. You can see right here from his uh, his email, so far up 11.2% in the account, accounting the actual open trades with your signals. Uh, here's Matt Hawk in Arlington, Virginia. He wrote in and said, the last 14 months have been great because of this system and support. I'm up over 60% because I use low leverage on this system. If you follow it to a T, you will make money. Now he's talking about one of my strategies uh, that you're going to be getting a glimpse of here in this uh, 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 4X University. And he's up over 60%. He uses low leverage. It's not even high leverage. He's not even risky. He's a very conservative trader, which by the way, I teach you that depending on your risk tolerance, you can, you can be a conservative, moderate, or an aggressive trader and I'm going to show you how to determine which one of those you are in a subsequent video. So he is a very conservative trader. He's trading with low risk, 14 months, 60%. I think Matt started out with about $10,000. So he's up about $6,000 in 14 months. And once again, that's being very, very conservative. Now, you know, you can't look at this like a get rich quick trading scheme. Yes, you can turn a little bit of money into a lot of money very quickly. But once again, a lot quicker, of course, than many other markets and a lot quicker than many other things that you would do with that particular money. But once again, this is not a get rich quick trading scheme. Matt is a conservative trader. He's made $6,000 in 14 months. I mean, hey, that's nothing to sneeze at. He's building up his retirement. That's why he's doing this. Some people want to trade for cash flow. They want to build it up a lot faster. They've got a more aggressive risk set or tolerance. And I'm going to show you how to determine that in a subsequent video. Now, here's, uh, here's Gabriel C., one of my longtime students from Boston, Mass. Gabriel's been with me for quite some time. And he said, between July and January, I had a compounded return on equity of 71%, which has been audited by my accountant. In my experience of having tried and tested three other systems prior to Cecil's, as well as having discussed with other traders several different strategies out there, I can state with confidence it will be very hard for anyone to find a more powerful system that compounds profits under controlled risk. Gabriel C. Now, Gabriel, once again, he was trading with a, with a medium size account of around $40,000 and he had a 70% profit. You can do the math there. That's $28,000 of profit. And uh, he did that in just six months. So once again, he's a more aggressive trader. He has a much higher risk tolerance uh, than the last person that we looked at. Now, the beautiful thing is, is that it's ideal for large accounts too, right? None of those traders we're starting out with overly large accounts. The largest one was Gabriel at 40,000. The smallest, I think, uh, was around $1,000. But the beauty of trading the Forex is that it doesn't matter if you have a small account or a large account, just like I showed you. You can still trade the market the same way and you can use the same exact strategies that I'm gonna be teaching you. Now, trading some stocks, listen, you simply can't trade it the same way with larger accounts as you can with smaller accounts because the volume for that stock just isn't there. So if you know you have a stock who's, that's going to go on a big run and it's going to make a big trend, you have a good uh, you know, uh, foundation for making that decision there and you buy into that, some stocks, because they trade on lower volume, there's just not enough liquidity there to buy a large amount of money, so as you a, a large amount of shares. So as you build and build and build your account, you may run into some liquidity problems. On Forex, that does not happen until your trading account gets around $100 million. Now, I know some of you may be ambitious, but listen, that's a lot of money. That's a long ways away, no matter where you're starting. Now, you can also get to that level in trading Forex if you're trading over 500,000 and you're doing scalping or you're doing high frequency trading type strategies, which I do not recommend. So once again, because of the liquidity in Forex, it's the largest market in the world, over $5 trillion traded daily, you're not going to run into the same problem that you would in some stocks, not all stocks, but some stocks trading a larger account size. Like, for instance, one of my students here named Stuart K. 
He's trading around $584,000 and he just made $127,327 of profit in one month using one of my strategies. And he did it, like I said, in one month. So you can do this with a smaller amount of money or you can do it like I did as a CTA, trading nearly $10 million at a time and you can still play the same game, just like Stewart here. Now, Stewart in this particular month was trading around 450,000. He made $127,000 profit. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's really, really good. And uh, he did that using one of the strategies that you're gonna be learning here in the Forex University. Now, I wanna cut right to the chase and I wanna give you these five free tools to use. I can go on and on about our students and their success and about all the money that I've traded. But listen, I want you to get some actionable stuff here that you can take to the bank and you can begin to implement right now. Now, listen, we're gonna start small here. I'm gonna give you these five tools. These are the tools that I use though on a daily basis, okay? There's not gonna be any actionable strategy here, but you need to bookmark these tools. You need to go and set these tools up. They're free, 100% free to use. Don't waste your money buying, you know, ridiculous apps and ridiculous subscriptions to ridiculous tools that you do not need, okay? I'm gonna give you these five free tools. Once again, they're very, very easy to set up. Google Alerts, all you have to do is go to google.com forward slash alerts, set up a Google account if you don't already have one, and then listen, what you wanna alert yourself to is any news regarding Forex. And what Google is going to do is it's going to go out and it's going to scour the internet every single day. And any news feed that it picks up that has Forex related news, it's going to send back to you an alert saying, hey, we just found a new Forex related news article. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important because as you're sifting through these headlines every day, as it's sending you these news alerts, you may find something of interest that now you're able to go and you're able to look at a particular currency market and say, man, you know, that news article, you know, it was right on, it was spot on. And now you've got a market that you can potentially trade based on a strategy that I'm going to show you uh, because you were alerted to the news. You don't have to go out and look for it yourself. Google does all the work. It finds all the, all the top stories. It brings it back to you. Then you just simply sift through the headlines, see which one you want to read. And now you've got a basis for determining where a hot market is. That's important. You want to be trading the hot markets, the ones that are moving. Next up is Twitter. Now, you may not have a Twitter account. I highly recommend you go set one up. First person you should follow is me, Cecil Robles. Uh, you can just type in twitter.com forward slash Cecil Forex, and that'll get you right to my Twitter page. Now, the reason why this is important, first of all, I'm going to be sharing things like right here, on the top of this page, the secret to trading choppy markets. Also, uh, you see the video there, the YouTube video. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel as well if you haven't already. Uh, and once again, I'm gonna be sending you some actionable stuff here. But even more importantly to that is right up here where you can see, you can see I'm following a certain amount of people. These are the most important people that I'm paying attention to when it comes to their particular analysis, their commentary, or their trades that they're placing on the Forex market. Once again, that alerts me to something that I can then go take a look at, filter through my strategies, and see if there's anything worth there for us to do. That's really, really key. It's all about finding the hot markets, the actionable market, and going and seeing if it lines up with your particular strategy, and then jumping in on it. So Twitter is great for that. Next up, is metaquotes.net. Uh, go there, download MetaTrader 4. It's a free charting software and trading platform. Just about every broker, uh, every Forex broker in the world allows you to set up a free demo account and download a free MetaTrader 4 platform. And once again, it's completely free. There's a lot of paid trading platforms out there. They're all good. I'm not saying that they're not but you don't have to spend any money right now. You can use this free trading platform, which is very robust. It's Forex centered. It's very easy to use. It's very intuitive. And once again, you're able to now begin to learn some of the strategies that I'm gonna teach you in the next video when we get into technical analysis and we get into some of the strategies that I'm gonna talk about, okay? So go to metaquotes.net, download MetaTrader 4. The next one is forexfactory.com. This is this is basically a service that that uh, uh, highlights all of the important cyclical news coming out about the most important currencies and countries. So for instance, right here you see 
for Australia. There was the monetary policy meeting minutes, the inflation expectations for New Zealand, the building permits for the U.S. dollar, the FOMC meeting minutes for the U.S. dollar, so on and so forth. These are high-level announcements uh, that you can uh, begin to use and utilize uh, to, once again, find particular hot markets to be trading. Now, the beauty is, is that I'm going to show you five economic indicators, the only important ones that you need to be paying attention to that are going to alert you to, once again, when large trends could be shifting in the market. We're not using this information to scalp the market or to do any kind of news trading. We're simply using this information to determine when something actionable may happen to either create a big trend or cause a big trend to collapse. Uh, and so once again, it's extremely important. Uh, go and bookmark this page, forexfactory.com. I'm gonna be showing you how to use it in subsequent videos. The next one is the Wall Street Journal here. And more specifically, the market data center for currency futures and index futures in the Wall Street Journal, because you're gonna be looking at the US dollar index and then of course all of the other currency futures index, uh, currency futures in the Wall Street Journal market data center under the commodities market. Now, the reason this is important is because I'm gonna be teaching you in a subsequent video a strategy that I call the premium market strategy. Now, once again, this information is very, very easy to read. Secondly, this information is going to help you determine when big trends may be forming in a particular currency. And then it's going to allow you to go and put the other technical analysis strategies that you're going to learn into action in these particular markets, okay? So the Wall Street Journal is the last one. Now these are all free tools. I wanna to reiterate that again. You don't have to pay any money for these tools, but the data that you can gather, uh, and number one, the data you can gather, number two, the free trading platform, MetaTrader 4, it's the one that I use, super simple. You can program into it, all that good stuff. But once again, we're just using very simple, very basic strategies that I'm gonna be teaching you that you're gonna be able to make money for. So stay tuned for more. In the next video, I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, and that is technical analysis. We're also gonna get into the basics of my strategy, and you're gonna be amazed. I'm telling you, you're gonna be blown away at how simple and straightforward it is. Many of you have probably been you know, kicking your tires, just literally, you know, going crazy, going bat crazy because you are getting things too complicated. Okay. So I'm going to teach you some very, very simple stuff, just like you learned in this particular video. I'll see you in the next video.